Hi Cancer, how are you today? So what do we need to know to empower you to self-help in the journey of Tarot and Oracle? So what does Cancer need to know today? What does Cancer need to know? So we use three aspects here, and then we'll have the changing aspects for Cancer. And then we'll use the Moon Oracle card. So the first aspect for yourselves is the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands. So here is a very balanced aspect where it's like a mini celebration. This idea of jumping for joy and aspiring to higher things. But in the meantime, they can see down below that there's a very bed of roses. So what are you celebrating today that will allow that energy to transform and continue throughout your journey today? And the next few days. There are some elementals here that are lifting them up to tap into your intuition and spiritual insights. So if you're on a journey of love particularly, this is a great time to realise that it is in the small simplistic actions and thoughts that are going to transform you to that loving feeling. So it's a time just to celebrate today, so that's good. You've got the Three of Wands. The energy on your life at the moment is searching and waiting for the perfect opportunity. You may already be on your journey and you're just pausing to reflect at the end result. This signifies that there will be your end result because you can see it. You can see it from a distance. You're looking at the bigger picture and transforming here to pull down a little bit more of information from yourself and divine intervention kind of thing. It's clear. So each step of the way, it could be very difficult, but at least you're on your path. You're on your way. If you allow that emotion to transform you, to keep going, keep going. There's a sense of purity with this as well. Your innocent dream. You haven't got any clutter. And it's almost like that fool at the beginning of the journey started off with a little bit of luggage. It's almost like you've released it. The knowledge that you brought on this journey, you've used. And you're well on your way. So you have the Four of Swords. It is okay when you're on your way to this end goal, end result that you're trying to achieve, to have a rest and contemplate. It's a very intelligent person that knows when to rest. Sometimes this is about tapping into your intuition and your higher self. You may even want to have the time to pray to God or ask your angels and spirit guides for some further information and further clarification that you are actually on the right path. Because maybe if you're not, you need to contemplate of how to take a U-turn or a side turn into the direction where you're supposed to be heading. So this is with intelligence that you can rest within your journey. So today, the magician, what a fantastic way to make things happen today. Maybe you've got new inspirations, new feelings, new way of putting into action all that you've learned so far. This is a fantastic aspect to bring down what you do know. This is why the contemplation has been there for you to fly into the intuition and fly upwards to
to really see things from a whole different ball game. So really see clarity now and healing and where can you transform your life and put magic back into your life. It's by creating new feelings and new thought process will help you quicker along this journey. So the chariot. The chariot will get you to your end goal quite quickly if you allow it. But sometimes it is very important this card today. Have you contemplated every single angle? Because sometimes when we rush into things too quickly, we can go the wrong direction, even though it looks like the right direction. So be careful that there isn't too much speed. Just go at your pace. This is your life, your time, your speed. Because with the turtles down there, they've lived a long time. They've actually come across a lot of hardships. So with that, they know a thing or two. And just as you do, then just with your nature, direct yourself to your possibilities of where you're going in a very even way of doing and contemplating. So you have the hangman, another resting time. This is going to um, remind you guys that for you, one must take the time now to contemplate your actions and your thoughts. And is it really the right path that you're going upon? It's okay to have gone down perhaps the wrong path. So do take time out now and really see things so differently, hear different messages, contemplate, meditate on it, and then find your own truth. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's have a look at the Moon Oracle. And see what's going on. So, for yourselves, we have action. <laughs> so, action is very good with the chariot, because one has to have the action once you've got the good thoughts going. So, but careful, as I say, the hangman is very important to contemplate whether this is the right thing, how can you go along your journey with a lot more clarity. You've got the magician card to give you all the tools of the book to carry on. So dancing in the moonlight is a really good thing to do. Get the energy moving, but make sure you're going in the right direction. You don't want to turn back now and go down a different route and then realise we were on the right path all the time. So thank you guys for listening. Lots of love to you all and do take care.